Welcome to Cigar Audit, again. Matt and Matthias here to review Foundation Cigar High Clear Castle in Corona. <laughs> I had the pleasure to meet Nick Malillo, say that 10 times fast, at an event at the Humidor in Hunt Valley, Maryland. And uh, really great guy, he got to, to sit and talk to me for about 20 minutes and told me a lot about how they created this cigar. And it's intriguing because it is a Connecticut shade wrapper. And I'm not usually a fan of those cigars, but the mixture inside um, is really, really neat. So uh, go ahead, Matt, and tell me what you uh, think about your cigar over there. It, uh, it looks great, it feels great. The, uh, it's a little like a nice satin finish, like mm -hmm. a satiny finish to it. Uh, not too oily. A um, little texture to it. Yeah, the seams are really tight. Yeah. Um, uh, it's hard to tell that there are seams, so it's made very well. Um, but it does have just a little bit of, like you said, that texture to it. Um, what's What kind of aroma are you getting off of the uh, wrapper? It's sweet. It's very, getting a good sweet, um, I'm not sure, like hay. That's sweet hay. Yeah, sweet hay. And uh, through the foot, you definitely get more of that mustiness, that, that uh, musty earth. Right, making you know? up some of the tobacco from the inside. Yeah, it's good. So uh, they look really good. Now this uh, particular mixture has, and I'm gonna look at my phone while I say this because there's too much, but anyway, Carillo, Corojo uh, from Jalapa and Omotep, uh, Omotepe? Omotepe. Omotepe. I should know, I was just in Nicaragua. Anyway, volcanic uh, soil um, tobacco, so that's really neat. But the binder, the, the thing that I think makes a difference in this cigar, and talking to Nick, it, it seems to be what it was, the big difference when you mix it with a, a Connecticut shade, is the, the Matafina binder in this cigar. So, um, and it gives it that darker flavor. And as he said, uh, I think the best way he put it was, the, uh, the wrapper is just the finishing touch. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and get these cut up and let's check out the pre light. Just a little bit. Your, your draw's a little tight? Just a little, no, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, I've been smoking a lot of Drew Estate stuff. I don't know if it's just that I'm more, more open. It's, it's got a little more. Yeah, this one's just right for me. Just, I just get a very muted hay. Yeah, it's not as, uh, you know, the the flavor on the nose, when you're smelling the, the wrapper, yep. it's like a tenth of that almost. It's just you're getting a little bit of that flavor and it's not really that strong. Very subtle, but, you know, I, I tend to like the Corona size because you do get a better uh, amount of flavors out of a cigar. Um, Lancero, Corona, the, the, the smaller ring gauge tend to give you more flavor. So... I've had this in Corona, I really liked it, so I bought a box, um, as you can see, so let's get these uh, toasted up and see what they taste All right, let's do it. Mm. Wow. I got a ton of leather on the retro bell on the first. Yeah, leather, a, a fairly darker. Yeah. Not, not quite as dark as a, as a, like a Liga or something right. along those lines, but darker than you would think with the, Especially with the, the pre light draw and smell mm -hmm. and, and, and the, the sweet, as sweet as it smells, it's... Yeah, right away, I get that leather, uh, uh, I would say a medium dark earth, um, hints of cream so far already. Little spice. Yeah, just enough spice. It's um, kind of a mix of maybe like a white pepper, and a little bit of black pepper on the finish. Just a little bit, right. Not, not, it's not overpowering, for sure. But it's good. It's really good. The draw is really good. I can see I, I have the draw coming out of uh, the back end. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah, no comment, just a picture. Uh, and we can see a nice haze of smoke. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. Yes. Um, Very smart. I wonder if I can take a picture of that. I don't know. It's pretty awesome, though. It is. It's, it's pretty epic. Oh, look at that. that it's like a up. ceiling. <laughs> That's great. It That's shows great. up. Wow. Now you guys will get to see the magic behind the curtain. For your quick opening thoughts, what would you say in general? It's good. It's um, it's stronger than it looks, but not 
but it's balanced. It's not too strong. Mm -hmm. um, I'm liking the, the 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 mild spice, the the earthiness, the lather. Get a little bit of the, a little cream. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, so good. It's uh, definitely got a lot, a lot, a lot of flavors going on. Not just a, not just one thing through the in the start at first. And it's not your traditional Connecticut. Um, you know, the spiciness at the end of the finish, it hangs on for a while. So that's definitely different than your normal Connecticut. And um, I think it's got more complexity in flavor than most Connecticut's. Uh, you know, certainly some Davidoff's have some really good complexity, but um, it's very well blended. I know the cigar has some transitions, at least the, the first uh, few that I've smoked. But, um, you know, so far a very good start. So we'll uh, get this further down and we'll let you know how the first third works. Well, welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and Matthias here to go over the first third of High Clear Castle from Foundation Cigars. So, Matt, besides ashing all over your uh, soda can, uh, how was your first third? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting to taste the ash, but I'll, I'll review that in the next segment. <laughs> okay. Um, it's very good. It's um, it started out to me uh, a little on the more full body, mm -hmm. but it's kind of transitioned into a medium body cigar um, for this first third. Uh, it getting pronounced leather, mm -hmm. but it's also coming with some spices, some. Uh, a nice spice uh, lingering in the palate. Mm -hmm. Pe black pepper into like a red pepper. Uh, some creaminess and some earth, but it's 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 very good cigar so far. I, I'm, I'm pretty much um, consistent with your thoughts. Um, I would add, you know, it's got that leather as the binding flavor. There's a, a medium earth that mixed in there too. Um, I do as well, especially through the nose, get that black pepper, red pepper mix. Um, and on the finish, you get <clears throat> a long lingering black pepper, but it's not heavy. No. It's just a little bit, which is really, really good blending. Um, and what I like out of this, and I assume this coming from the, the Connecticut wrapper, is I'm getting a creamy note um, that's fairly consistent and just makes it a smooth smoke, very enjoyable, um, but doesn't taste like the normal Connecticut. No, and the, 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 the spice is nice because I just had a nice long retro hail on it. It's 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 a it's a very balanced pepper. It's you know it's coming yeah. through the nose and it's and it lingers a little bit, but it's not like you know it's not overpowering where your your eyes want to water. It's just like <clears throat> it just it just it's very pleasant, very pleasant stick. Yeah, you even get a, a hint of some vegetal notes in there, maybe uh, beyond the peppers, more like a maybe more like a bell pepper or even a little bit like a like a bean like a green bean or something like that in there it's, it's it's really nice very well blended now the interesting thing about this blend is when i was talking to nick he was explaining and it has some of their uh, verbiage um that the castle high clear castle used to have um cubans made specifically for them and based off of everybody's notes on how that smoked they came up with a blend to try to match it which just a neat story how close could it be don't really know but uh, at the end of the day um, it definitely tastes different uh, than your normal Connecticut wrapper uh, cigar so they definitely did a good job I don't I really don't care if it tastes the same it tastes good to me right right <laughs> we'll never know what it tastes like back then no but uh, but fantastic uh, first third so we'll get past the second third and we'll let you know how it works Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Uh, Matt and Matthias here to go over the second third of the High Clear Castle cigar from Foundation. Um, yeah, you just said ooh, ooh, and I would have said it if I wasn't uh, holding a I secret. I was wondering if you got the same thing. I, I think I did. So uh, tell me about your second third and what you just got a second ago. Uh, the second third was uh, was less less spice, more cream, a little more bat, a little more smooth than the first, but as it's getting into the uh, last third here, I just got a huge leather mm -hmm. out, of, out of that draw I just took, and it was surprising. It was almost like the leather that I got on my first, my, when I lit and I got yep. a ton of leather, that was like leather. 
like it was all like leather that. jacket. Almost. Yes, it was like a like an old leather jacket. I got I, I just got that too. Um, almost a leather jacket with a sharp white pepper spice. I mean, it was it was pronounced. It was good. Right? Yeah, it just was it surprised me. Yeah, because we've been sitting smoking and it's been kind of very consistent and mild and then boom, just like large flavor, large large leather flavor. Yeah, definitely a blast out of nowhere. But um, so I would say my, my second third has been very similar in nature. Um, the spice, not as much until that last uh, retro hail, but um, definitely that leather, um, more of a creamy note in this second third. Um, my ash is holding very well. Um, Matt's well, mine's well, it's consistent. You know, it's I'm been get, everywhere. I'm getting about an inch, but every time <laughs> I, I, I I miss the ashtray, so I've, I've been it's been it's been messy for me. You get about an inch. Oh well, um, yeah, well, you but know, uh, on a good day <laughs> when it's cold outside. But uh, in general, um, it's been a very smooth smoke. Um, so a slight transition, and I would say the complexity to me so far in this cigar is the pops of flavor that pop in and out. Um, I've even gotten a little bit towards the end of this third, uh, a little bit of sweetness, more so than I've yeah, gotten. Yeah, like I said, it mellowed, it kind of mellowed yeah. in, in, in strength as you got through, but then that leather just really, and that's the thing, that's one of the things that I enjoy about taking your time with a cigar, mm -hmm. is that when you get those huge transitions in flavor, mm -hmm. you know, and you're, and you're not expecting it, you know, I kind of was like, whoa, wow. I like, surprise. It's surprising and it, and, it, and it just adds to the pleasure and the enjoyment of, of, of what these are for, for me, is just, it's relaxing and just slowing down a little bit, enjoying taking life. your time and enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's performing very well, um, smooth in general. I would say body in, in total for the first two thirds, the very beginning of the light was definitely full body, but now I think it's medium to medium full. Yeah. Just slightly above medium. Um, the finish is fairly short. Um, in the beginning of the smoke, uh, the beginning of the cigar, the finish was longer. Um, so the finish has shortened up quite a bit, not as much black pepper, um, not as much red pepper, but no. um, so I would say medium slightly over medium for the body so far and i would say the nicotine is is mild very it's, mild it's not yeah. not strong in nicotine um i do remember these getting a little bite at the very end but um <clears throat> but i had so far nothing to complain about construction's good draws good smoke is more than plentiful and mine was burning mine got a real weird burn to it but mm -hmm. it evened right out mm -hmm. and, and just in the time that we and then in the last two minutes it evened itself out perfectly so yeah performing very well so we'll get further down in this cigar and we'll let you know how it was at the end well welcome back to cigar audit matt and matthias here to finish up the High Clear Castle Cigar from Foundation Cigars. So, uh, Mr. Matthias, your last third, how's it been? It's uh, it's picked up in strength and body uh, the last third. Um, I got some, it, it started out with a strong hit of leather mm -hmm. that we talked about at the last segment as it was transitioning. And then it kind of mellowed out again. Now, I got, then I got back into some um, just l light leather and cream, and then, and then I just had some more. Um, the, the spice kicked up, uh, the leather kicked up again, um, and then I was describing it was a yeah, vegetal, you know, maybe a, you know we call it a little bit of citrus or mm -hmm. something. But now it's kind of it's kind of curving back, smoothing out again. So it's kind of a nice. It's been it's been a great cigar as far as transitions and. Uh, changing of flavor, so. It's very complex. It, it's a very complex cigar, I, very similar. You know, the leather <clears throat> has definitely kicked up. I think the earth has kicked up a little bit. Um, I would say it's more of a medium full cigar, and I would say um, the last third here, the nicotine's probably a medium. I mean, there's yeah. a little bit of a nicotine yeah. bite. Um, nothing uncomfortable, just gives you that that, that little, uh, little tiny buzz, but um, yeah, I, I would say that the, uh, the change definitely has been on the spice side. It, <clears throat> it kind of waves up and down, which is really nice. 
and to me you get a little bit of that cream note um, but that has died back to be more citrus so on the uh, finish and even through the nose I get a very clear citrus that comes through um, kind of a maybe a, a slight tangerine with an apricot or something like that it, it's um, really really pleasant interesting for the end of a cigar usually you get those notes earlier in a yeah. cigar but um, very good I would say the finish um, gives you a light black pepper that stays for a while. Yeah, yeah, um, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, back um, of the tongue, yeah, yes, yeah. Even, even some of the throat. Um, <clears throat> pleasant, don't get me wrong, it's not it's not a you know, crazy amount of flavor hitting the back of your throat. Um, but gives you that nice complexity. You get that little citrus sourness with a little bit of sweetness and a bite, and then it moves to that pepper note on, on the back of the palate. It's just really well done. Um, and that leather flavor with that little bit of cream mixed in is, is really, really succulent. Okay. Succulent. Succulent. Um, so anyway, um, so I'm, I'm going to start off with the uh, review and, and number wise on this cigar since Ed's not here and I can't play the numbers game with Ed. Um, you know, this cigar is a very good performer. I think that it's far more complex than uh, one would think from, from looking at it. Um, but when you read the blend, it's not really surprising. Right. It's got a lot of different uh, types of tobacco in it. Um, construction's great. The look of it was great. Um, the flavors are great. They do change and morph throughout. Um, you definitely get something different from the nose versus the mouth draw. Um, and the finish has changed quite a bit um, throughout. And that citrus note to me has just kicked it up quite a bit for, for me in the rating. Um, so I'm gonna give this cigar 95. I'm very confident in this cigar and um, it's fairly consistent, you know. My, my take on the cigar is very similar to Matt, so, um, so I'm gonna go with 95. What say you, sir? Um, well, one of the things that I wanna say about the cigar, which, uh, which from reading the the history or the blend and the, the types of, is don't judge a book by its cover. Absolutely. Um, again, this is, you know, it seems like you kind of see, you go into your shop, it's cl everything's clearly defined, your lighter, your lighter bodied cigars are usually uh, in a lighter wrapper, mm -hmm. darker in a darker wrapper, but this is kind of a good balance of, of everything. And uh, my rating on this would be a 94. Yeah, I think this is um, just well made, well blended, well thought out. Um, have no idea if it tastes the same as the uh, the custom blends that High Clare Castle used to get, but um, nonetheless, I think it's a uh, just a superb blending and uh, and manufacturing. It's it's a really good cigar. So when you see these out there, they they're a little pricier. They're I'm sure over ten dollars a stick. And you get the box, you might pay a little less, but um, at the end of the day, good cigar, you can't go wrong. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Check us out on the Institute, Twitter, all that social media stuff. And don't forget to check out CigarAudit.com. Any lasting words, sir? Um, good to the nub. Yeah, nub it, baby. You gotta love it. Love it and nub it. See you next time.